I'm Steve Wallace. I'm the founder and president of the Oman Hini Cocoa Bean Company. It's a small business located just outside Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm here today because I thought I'd give some tips on completing the SBA disaster business loan application that's found online. It's where the federal government wants all small businesses to go to get a loan from the Small Business Administration. It's business loans up to $2 million with an interest rate of 3.75%. So for most small businesses, that's a, that's a pretty favorable loan um, interest rate. The way the loan works is in, in a perfect world, within three to four weeks, you get an initial disbursement of funds in the amount of $25,000 before the full loan proceeds are made available. So this $25,000 is like a bridge loan bit of financing to help you uh, in the short term. So I just want to say um, I'm not an expert on this. I'm just a small business owner who's gone through the process. So I'm merely sharing the best information, the latest information as I have it. Have these things ready before you start. An e-file of your last year's business tax return and your personal tax return that you'll be able to upload. A list of your monthly direct expenses. These are things like rent, wages, your direct non-discretionary costs, the costs of really keeping the lights on at your business. That's what this loan program is really designed to do. It wouldn't include variable costs like um, marketing costs or travel or trade exhibitions. I would allow five to eight hours to complete the application. Be very patient. If it's taking you a minute to load each page, that's about what I was experiencing. The system was just overwhelmed and overburdened. There's about probably eight to 12 components um, and they give you a little checklist so you know where you are and you're able to save your work um, as you complete it. What happened frequently as I filled out the application is the website would hang, it would freeze, and I would lose um, information that I had already inputted. So I can't um, underscore enough. Every time you input something, um, to hit the save button. So I spread it out over two days. If you save it, you can come back. The website does an excellent job of bringing you right back to where you left off. Now there's some peculiarities with the online application, one of which is you're going to be asked to download the tax information authorization form. What that form does is it grants the IRS permission to share your tax returns with the SBA. Download it, fill it out, and then you upload it back to the SBA. So I will tell you the downloading of that form took several tries and then the uploading of it took at least half a dozen tries. So a couple of points worth noting. This is a loan program. It's not a grant program. So presumably this money, unless Congress decides otherwise, is money that needs to be paid back. For most small businesses like myself, we're loath to borrow any more than we have to. Um, and um, so just be mindful of that when you're applying. And if you have any questions or concerns, I'm happy to help. I'm certainly not an expert, but if there's anything I can do to offer encouragement or advice based on my own personal experience in completing the application, uh, there'll be a link to uh, get a hold of me and I'm happy to try to help. My business serves the specialty coffee trade. All of these independently owned, often mom and pop, specialty coffee cafes have been hit hard and my heart is breaking and it goes out to you and I just want you to know we'll be here at the end of this to serve you as we have for nearly three decades. Stay as well as you can um, and we'll see you at the other side. Thanks very much.